All right, hello my friends. Here we have Raul Ramirez, our next student. Lunch is a memory of indigestion. Shankara sat across from me in the cafeteria and I couldn't help staring at her. Her bruises are almost gone, but I can still see the shadows they left behind. If she was my her hermanita, I'd squash the cockroach who messed her up like that. That's what I was thinking when I remembered it ain't nice to stare. So I ate too fast and I got out of there before she could catch me. Only 25 minutes, 20 minutes till class starts and Mr. War don't like it if I leave a mess on his desk. So that's 18 minutes to paint plus two more for cleaning up and washing the paintbrushes. If Renard gets here early, he'll help. He always does. I don't know why. Tyrone's another story. He checks in early lots of times when I'm here, but he keeps his distance. Usually once he came, usually once he came up behind me and watched over my shoulder while I worked. Made me kind of nervous, if you must know. The Reekins and the brothers don't always hit it off. Anyway, he stood there for the longest. Then he grunted and said, You good, man. I'll give you that. Thanks, I said. You wasting your time, though. You know you ain't going to make no money doing this. Maybe not, I said. But some things ain't about money. You tripping, man, said Tyrone. Money is the alpha and omega. Ask anybody. I shrugged and gave him my no hablo ingles look, like I didn't get what he was talking about. It was the quickest way to end the conversation. People just don't get it. Even if I never make a dime, which, by the way, ain't going to happen, I'd still have to paint. Don't get me wrong. Money is useful. I'm lucky Mr. Ward leaves brushes and watercolor paper for me to use, though. I ain't got, I ain't gonna tell him that. It's none of his business. I can't afford fancy brushes and watercolor paper at home. Anyway, it's good for him to help out the future Diego Rivera. He knows I'm the real deal. Didn't he come for, to me for advice on how to decorate the classroom? The paper frames were my idea. Good work belongs in a gallery, I told him, especially if it's mine. I never thought about writing poetry before, but Mr. Ward said he's going to start videotaping our Friday sessions. Guess who's going to be the first one in front of the camera? Of course, that means I have to write a poem, so I better get busy. Even if it's hard, I'll do it. I don't mind working hard, whatever it takes, entiendes? Raul Ramirez, painter poet. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Someday I'll have a poetry reading and a one man show in the New Yorican Poets Cafe on the Lower East Side. I'll hand out tokens to all my friends so they got no excuse not to make the ride down town. Okay? My brothers laugh at me because they've been in the world a little longer. They say I'm loco and la cabeza. That ain't no spick gonna be no big time artist in America. First off, I tell them, I ain't no spick. And second, watch me. Abuelita says my talent is as old as her bones. She says I got it and my stubbornness from her father. He never, he never did nothing with his talent though. I asked her why not. Porque la familia could not eat paint, she said. So I will be the first painter in the family. That's fine with me. I've been drawing pictures all of my life. I used to make my sister model for me. I'd bribe her with whatever I could scrounge up from returning soda bottles to the grocery. Eventually I got tired of digging through trash for bottles and she got bored modeling. Now it's easier. My girlfriend sits for me. Every painter needs a model, right? Anyway, she knows if she's nice to me, one day I'll make her famous. Even if she's not nice, I'll probably still paint her because she's beautiful. I want to show the beauty of our people, that we are not all banditos like they show on TV, munching cuchritos and sipping beer through chipped teeth. 
I will paint Los Niños scooping up laughter in the sunshine and splashing in the temporary pool of a fire hydrant. I will paint my cousins turning the sidewalk into a dance floor when salsa or lambamba spills from the third floor window. I will paint mommy standing at the ironing board late in the evening after a day of piecework in the factory, sweat pouring off her, steam rising from a pot in the background, me tugging at her skirt while she irons. I will paint the way she used to smile down at me, the love in her eyes saying, I only do this for you. Mommy's beauty is better than a movie star's. It survives a kind of life where pamper is a noun, not a verb. I will capture that beauty on canvas someday, when I am good enough. For now, I draw in my sketchbook and paint portraits of myself for practice. But it's not so bad. I'm handsome after all. Raoul's poem is in the shape of a Z. Um, here it is. Open Mic, Zorro, by Raul Ramirez. Call me Zorro, all swash and buckle. The cameras roll, cape swinging in the breeze, teeth showing as expected. I lunge on cue, save the damsel in distress. I understand my role. I've studied all those scripts and, come back and comic books. I used to pose for close-ups knew how to dutifully disappear when the script said, fade to black. Then I'd wait uncomfortably between the lines of my own story till someone with skin like milk yelled action. But I'm done. I'm too old for comic heroes. It's time to lose the cape. Step off the page, except I think I'll keep the mask. Why make it easy for you to choose whether I am Zorro or El Bandito? One, I am neither. Your categories are too confining. The fact is, you're more comfortable with myth than man. But I'm here to help. First off, put down your camera. Second, give me your hand. Boom. That is the end of his poem. Tyrone's reaction to Raoul's poem. Raoul is on the money. You gotta make your own rules. Jack, that's the real 411. Forget white folks think, ah, forget who the white folks think you are, because they ain't got a clue. That's some strong stuff Raul will be writing. That Z thing was cool, too. He was working it. Frankly, I didn't know he had it in him. Matter of fact, I didn't know he knew that much English. And that is Raoul's poem. And I will see you again.